Now, I've got to bring a warning to everyone's attention here. It's from a NASA, you know, the space people. Uh, they've got, they're warning uh, about um, astronauts who may be traveling to space on the SpaceX Dragon or the Boeing Starliner rockets. Mm -hmm. They've issued a warning, may not be safe. Tariq Malik, Space.com managing editor, is with us now. Do you share that concern? Because, look, this is private enterprise putting astronauts into space. It used to be a public enterprise. You worried about this? Well, what, what, what was uh, a bit surprising was that the concerns are that these, these companies, SpaceX and Boeing, may not meet NASA's guidelines for safety for the astronauts themselves. So mm. they have to be certified uh, to be able to fly astronauts and maybe customers too. Uh, private customers, tourists, or whatnot, on these vehicles uh, to make sure that they're safe. And so NASA says that they're not there yet. The 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 risk uh, that NASA will accept is a one in 270 chance of uh, someone being seriously injured or, God forbid, uh, a loss of life for an astronaut. That is stricter than NASA's own space shuttle risk. So it is a high bar that they've set, well, and they're not there yet. Was it a was it a play by NASA? to bring the entire space business uh. back into the public domain and take it away from private enterprise. Oh, I don't, I don't think that that's the case at all. I think that right now, uh, NASA says that we have, to, we have to meet these guidelines to make sure that our astronauts are safe, that your customers are safe, uh, that you're making a, space, uh, a safe spacecraft. Now, you know, that these companies are still not even at the level of testing. That's supposed to happen later this year. SpaceX and Boeing both are slated to launch those first test flights. Uh, and then after those missions launch, they're going to look at this and say, how did this perform? Did they meet this guideline? What do you need to change? Um, NASA's contracts with Russia to launch American astronauts on Russian spacecraft, that ends in 2019. So uh -huh. there is kind of a, a finish line to kind of get these things done. But the same advisory report says you cannot rush these things. You have to be ready to have a gap if, if needed because these companies also can't have go fever, which NASA has experienced in the past with their own uh, uh, Challenger accidents and whatnot. Do you know what happened to that super secret spy satellite that was lost <laughs> on the top of that SpaceX rocket? Yeah, so the, that's the Zuma, the Zuma yeah, yeah. satellite. The, the DOD is saying ask SpaceX. SpaceX says that their rocket performed fine. Northrop Grumman, which built the spacecraft, is saying nothing at all. Uh, there have been reports that it fell into the Indian Ocean, but SpaceX still says their rocket did fine, and the sightings by people on the ground in Sudan, by uh, pilots, they seem to suggest that SpaceX's rocket did do all of the things it needed to do. So it, it's very possible that whatever well, it, happened was on the contractor's side. So it might, have been, it might be in the Indian Ocean. It could be in the Indian Ocean. Are they Ocean? looking for it? They're trying to get it back? Uh, I mean, well, they go, big nets or something? They can do that. You know, the, the, the National Reconnaissance Office, they have gone out and fished up spy satellite stuff from the yeah. ocean in the past. Uh, Jeff Bezos, you know, found <laughs> old Apollo 11 <laughs> uh, uh, rockets from the, or yeah. rocket engines from the ocean floor, too. So if they really want this thing back... Uh, they can go out and find it. Well, they better get it before the Chinese do or the Russians do. But if it's if it's so else. super secret, it could very well be doing exactly what it's supposed to be. Doing. Ooh, That's what one. we're supposed to think. Is that, that possible? That is also the, the other thing. There there is a whole cadre of people that look for these things in space, mm -hmm. and they are really excited because <laughs> this is the week that if it did get up there, uh, these, yeah. the, its orbit would come over North America. So ah. they're looking to see, you know, is there an extra thing up there? That was good. <laughs> that, that was, was good. Really the, the conspiracy theory <laughs> oh, was good. Every time. <laughs> good stuff. Thanks very much, Tariq. All right.